If you're celebrating today, it's because you have an extremely important job. You're a father. Real quickly, I want to read you something out of Proverbs chapter 4. It says, My children, listen when your father corrects you. Pay attention and learn good judgment, for I am giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions, for I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved as my mother's only child. My father taught me, take my words to heart. Follow my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, develop good judgment. Don't forget my words or turn away from them. But some advice from Solomon in chapter 4 of Proverbs. Being a father is an awesome responsibility. Someone once told me that when you raise your children, you raise your grandchildren. And I guess that's true because I'm a father now. And the way I try to teach my children, the example I try to set for my children comes directly from the one who taught me, who set the example for me. I was blessed to have a loving father growing up, a man of Christ, a man who believed in the Bible and lived for his Lord. And because of that, he showed me the value of the Bible. He showed me how to become a man. He taught me how I should be a father one day. And because of that, I hope that through me, he's raising his grandchildren. And through my children, I'll be able to raise my grandchildren and let the legacy continue on. There's nothing greater than being a father. And if you're a new father, congratulations. Take serious the responsibility you have of raising your children. Today is a day we've set aside to honor our fathers. You may be a new father, you may be celebrating with your father, or you may be reflecting back on the memory of the father who's no longer with you, but who has passed on. Today, celebrate. Cherish those memories, cherish those lessons, cherish the man who you call father. And if you're a new father, cherish that awesome, awesome job that you have of raising your children. Don't do it alone. Rely on God to give you the wisdom and the strength. Trust in Him. Learn His Word and use it to teach your children and eventually your children's children. I want to finish out today by reading you a little something that says, He teaches kindness by being thoughtful and gracious even at home. He teaches patience by being gentle and understanding over and over. He teaches honesty by keeping his promise to his family, even when it cost. He teaches courage by living unafraid with faith in all circumstances. He teaches justice by being fair and dealing equally with everyone. He teaches obedience to God's word by precept and examples when he reads and prays daily with his family. He teaches love for God and his church as he takes his family regularly to all services. His steps are important because others are following. Happy Father's Day and God bless you this coming week.